what's going on guys it's Andre back with some more tutorials today and today I'm going to show you how to do a simple transition or you can be for anything you want and let me just render preview this so you guys can see what I'm talking about it's basically called a vertical bounce so what it does is it zooms in and it comes back again out you can use it for a lot of things me for a transition for example you zoom in and then it comes back it goes to another map or simply you did a quad feed and you want to see your character or your player or whatever you just zoom in and then it comes back out again um, to do this let me just delete this okay you need to get your cinematic your cinematic needs to be really straightforward it can't be no wiggling it can't have no wigglers it wigglers wiggling or ups and downs or players there you know a simple transition a simple cinematic um, to don't j you need to create a main comp I did a main comp my main comp is all of it by 720 blah 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 and then you with your cinematic you pre-compose it you don't put on the main comp you just pre compose it straight away so as soon you get your cinematic and you choose where you want it uh, to begin or to finish or whatever uh, go back to your main comp and then just drag your comp your trans your cinematic to the main comp okay so you get this right so from here what you gotta do is click on the video right click time enable time remapping you get these two keyframes right yes you do get these two keyframes so what you gotta do is get your end, end keyframe and just put it around in the middle I don't know um, I don't know maybe around here maybe maybe around here and then you just gotta do is copy the first keyframe and then paste it on at the, at the end of your video which is around here believe here yeah it's fine so what you see is it goes forward and it comes back out again so okay you see this flash if you get this flash it's because our cinematic is black and to alright to fix this you click on the keyframe and then double click on the keyframe and just change its value for example just change the, the last number uh, minus two for example minus all five just put all three or whatever it's just gonna be fine it's gonna be fine see you go, you don't see that flashes again so what you gotta do now is go to the end of keyframe press u press p for position press shift for scale and press r for rotation and then press u oh my bad p for position scale and rotation keyframe all of them and now go back to the first uh, keyframe and keyframe all of them as well so what we gotta do is go to the scale zoom in a little bit for example 180 or 173 it's fine or one yeah 170, 176 uh, rotate as well I mean I advise you not to rotate more than 20 degrees 20 is fine and then the position just put it up or down it depends up to you I'm gonna put a little bit down just like that and then you go to the time remapping and you press the graph editor a lot of people don't see the graph editor because it's because they don't have highlighted what they want to see so see if I don't highlight the time remapping you won't see the time remapping you know what I mean so click the time remapping and you'll see this triangle shape so to say and just I want to change the speed so go a little bit out just like that is fine and then you come to the easies to make it more smoother you click here on the easies and just drag drag a little bit out this keyframe so to speak just like that and this one as well it's fine and edit the graphic graphic editor so that's let me just easy use all of these keyframes so highlight them and then press F9 I believe or I can't remember so you go keyframe assistance yeah F9 you press F9 or keyframe assistance easy use. and yeah that's your vertical bounce that's you can do whatever you want now so that's your vertical bounce so let me just run preview this real quick uh, I appreciate you guys leave a like and a comment if you guys enjoyed my my tutorials I, I, I like to do I, look, I like to do them so and um, leave a like and a comment to let me know please so that's basically the transition I'll render render this again for you guys can see so it zooms in and then it comes back out again 
and you can change the speed if you press for example you press alt on your keyboard and then you can minimize your transition speed to whatever you want for them to render rent preview this so it's more quicker so for example yes vroom. and again vroom. let me do this again so it goes forward and then comes back again okay you can use this to do transitions or to do a quad feed kill whatever name whatever you want to do it so that's it guys leave a like or comment let me know if you enjoyed or not if you want to see more uh and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Have a wonderful, nice day. Bye.